And we start with a big story of five controversial comments from a Prince George's County teacher landing her in hot water, but some are defending the remarks that she posted online. Fox 5, Stephanie Ramirez live outside of the Prince George's County School Board headquarters with a breakdown of what is happening. Steph? Hey, Marina, Jim, so those on social media identified this teacher as Bianca Robinson. Now, when we asked the Prince George's County Public School spokesperson about her, we were told she is a substitute who has now been removed from the classroom at District Heights Elementary School. We want to show you some of the tweet that landed her in that hot water here. It was posted to Twitter last Thursday under the account at mostly underscore hated. It says, black women raising boys, please stop letting your sons pick up your female traits. I have an expletive boys in my class. I know you'll have some men around somewhere. This expletive is getting ridiculous. Now, this comment got some quick reactions when I showed it to some parents in person today. It's not with that type of behavior. Honestly, with a lot of a lot of the way uh, teachers are, a lot of them do teach like they just don't say it. She could have said like put them in male mentoring programs, things like that. But for her to just come off and say something like that, it's just atrocious. Now, online, a number of comments were defending Robinson, some essentially arguing she's a victim of cancel culture. Those upset with the substitute also flagged other questionable posts. Now, we can't see those posts for ourselves. Her account was listed as private this morning, but different messages screen grabbed by others appear to say kids need to get bullied. It goes on to say the no bullying thing is dumb. Another says these fifth graders never had a teacher from the hood. I see I will gather a child quickly and respectfully and still bring them to teach. A third appears to read, so when I look at my student who thinks it's cute being bad, I just wonder how long it's going to take for them to land in jail. Several other questionable posts were found on Facebook. Prince George's County Education Committee Chair Jolene Ivey used the words homophobic and abuse when describing some of what she read. As a black mother of five black sons, this is a very important issue to me. And I think that we all need to be up in arms if there are people out there interacting with our children, especially on a regular basis, who have those kinds of attitudes. It's harmful. And guys, I did try but could not get in touch with Robinson. Uh, PGCPS, they have not said what exact day the substitute was removed from the classroom or how long she's been with the school system, citing this as a matter that HR is looking into being handled as a confidential personnel matter. Guys, back to you. All right, Stephanie, that brings us to our Fox 5 Live Instable question. Should teachers face punishment for social media posts on their personal accounts? Almost 80% of you believe they should not. You still have time to vote. Use the QR code. Go to our website, fox5dc.com slash or head to our Fox 5 News app.